what day? Let's do it today. It's the 28th, March 28th, 2019. At what time? At 6.49. All right. So uh, you've, second. Con you've convened the meeting, so you are now an open meeting. Okay, Thank again. you very much for taking the time. Would it be helpful if I gave like a picture of where we are? Yes. Sure. Okay. So you're still listening to budget presentations on April 3rd. You're going to hear human resources, uh, human services rather. So that's going to be Board of Health, Veterans, Council on Aging, and uh, a couple of others. Um, uh, Hadley Media. Uh, you're also going to hear culture and recreation, so it's the Library, Park and Rec, Historic Commission. By the way, the Historic Commission has submitted their budget, uh, and that's a copy of it. So that'll be for next Wednesday. And we'll also dig into the articles. On April 10th, uh, we'll be going over the debt, state assessments, benefits, and the remainder of the warrant. And it is my hope that it's at the end of the day on the 10th. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Your hope is on the 10th? So I'm going to hope on, on the 10th that the select board is actually signing the warrant. And that's maybe an optimistic okay. hope. But if they don't do it on the 10th, they're going to have to meet again on the 17th. So the warrant should be ready for posting no later than the 24th. That's my drop dead deadline. Whatever I have and whatever recommendations are available, that's what the public is going to see. So my hope is tonight that we dig into the warrant and move, the, uh, move it along and see if we can get to recommendations as quickly as possible. Also on the 10th, uh, the House Ways and Means Committee is going to propose, their, they're expected to propose their budget for the state, which will affect our state aid. The governor came out with his proposal, um, heavily focused in on education. Everybody agrees that education, the funding formula no longer works, particularly for rural towns and particularly for districts where they're declining enrollment. Uh, this formula is 25 years old at this point. It was supposed to last for seven years and it's just been the little engine that could chugging along and the discrepancies and the contradictions within the formula have been expanding for all that time until we find ourselves in this situation. The governor has proposed a seven-year phase and fix it for the education funding formula. The House and the Senate said, no, that is far too long. We need to act much quicker. The House and the Senate have proposed uh, form, uh, education funding formulas, um, which they hope to bake into the next budget, into FY 2020. Unfortunately, the House and the Senate are very far apart in terms of their approach to education funding formulas. Uh, one has some language about the charter schools, which is a huge issue, and others don't. And it's very difficult for the leadership to be speaking in the House and the Senate right now for lots of interesting reasons. So time is running out for them, and whether they can, um, whether they can put together a funding formula budget in, by July 1st, we don't know. We're going to have to watch that. But the, this is a long way of saying is that I'm concerned about what the House Ways and Means budget may look like. Um, it will result in a preliminary cherry sheet, and it's likely to have changes to education. Chapter 70, school choice, sending re and receiving revenues and expenditures, and um, uh, charter sending, uh, reimbursement and sending assessments. So our financial picture, which right now is balanced, may not be so balanced come April 11th. So we're entering into a situation where we have to be making decisions and the picture may change and we're just going to have to be comfortable with that. I'll try to keep you as informed as possible. 
Um, so I was just running down the game plan. Okay, so without further ado, I thought we'd just dig into the uh, the warrior. Perfect. Okay. <coughs> you know, I think I just gave you a copy of the warrant. No, here it is. Awesome. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> So there's been some changes since the last time we've seen it. Um, okay, so Article 13 has deferred. Article 29. Article 29 is going to be deferred as well. We've just run out of time on that one. This is an every other page one. Is that an every other page one? Yeah. yeah. Is that how, do they come you soften out okay? Seems you have pages one, two, three? No. Oh, I guess I have every missing. other. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, I just wrote the third one. I couldn't find ours at 13. This one's okay. I have one. And then it says three. Yeah, I go to, yeah, I do. So David only needs to run the even ones. <laughs> and then you can resort, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Save paper. If you're really good, you can put these back in and print the other sides. Yeah, I just put the other side. <laughs> That's what I would do. I would do with my eyes closed. What is this? For sure. Historic <laughs> Commission proposed. That's okay. just the um, FYI budget for FY budget for um, historical stuff. They just gave it to us. Huh. Do we have a map like that what that shows is, where the Was it different than what was in, already in here? Mm -hmm. Historical? It must, it, or it's, it's not in Do they have a map it? like that that shows where the sewer lines went? Oh, probably. You probably have a map for everything. Mm. It is? I don't know. <coughs> or I'm looking at I think it'd be towards the back. Right. That's the library. Council on Aging Buckets. He said this was added, right? Pardon? It's not to replace? This, the, the 10,000. I didn't catch that information. I think it's kind of late, like, throw it in now, kind of thing. Okay. Maybe. Well, I just wonder where, where we put where that. Where would we put it? I don't think they have a budget for some reason. I mean, I just don't remember where it is. Maybe they're just requesting this year for all of this to erect these signs. Uh -huh. So, proposal, budget of 10, to do these things. Sign in our and are we Or are we taking this out of our finance? Hmm. Okay, well, we're waiting for you. I do have a quick question, if you don't mind, David. Sure. I'm sorry I, I uh, came late. Th this money, the 10000 where are we taking that from? I don't know. I just got that today. Okay. This was, uh, so they don't have a budget, correct? We don't. They have, they have $950 of a budget. Where, where, what line item? Where would we find that in here? Uh, you would find that Historic Society, Historic Commission, rather, and right. that is... Uh, in the 600s. In 600 series. Okay. So. Okay. So the budgets were due on the 29th of January. They they didn't submit one, so I just love the fund of them. Uh, park and Rec are they under? No. no well, mm -hmm. Okay, keep going. 
<clears throat> oh, 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 I passed them a couple times. Yeah, okay. Like the idea of historical records. So I yeah. basically level funded them, mm -hmm. uh, and then today they submitted a uh, budget. I wish they would put a sign on Which looks like, like it might be more appropriately uh, diverted uh, to the capital. With that, where you go again. Yeah. yeah. So so and and just anything up. with historical, I, I always wonder at what yeah. point. Now, this is signed, yeah. so maybe not, but anything historical, I always I think CPA. Probably the like half commission. <laughs> okay. You would hide well, this is a <laughs> historical marker. Project. Yeah. So wouldn't CPA I, funding do that? Well, I would think they should. That, they, that's where they should ask first, yeah. because if it's there. That's that would be the first spot. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Where? Seems like CPA. CPA. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> and then, and then, if not capital. Right. All right, so yep. let's walk through the okay. consent agenda while we're waiting for the okay. copies to be made. And I apologize for not having proper okay. material mm -hmm. for you. All right, so there's six uh, articles that are on the consent agenda. The first one is uh, grants. This mm -hmm. is a standard article that we pass every year. It allows the town to accept and expend grants without having to call a town meeting every time you have one. Mm -hmm. So, particularly for low value grants like a thousand dollars, you don't want to go through a two or three thousand dollar process to put together a town meeting uh, in order to spend a thousand dollars in grants. So we always put this on the consent agenda. Uh, the next one is the Chapter 90 money. Chapter 90 programs for roads, bridges, and other kinds of uh, highway related materials. So we receive about $300,000 annually, $360,000 annually from the state, which is about a third of what we need. Uh, but in order to access that money, you need a town meeting vote. So we always put this uh, in for the, uh, the annual town meeting for authorization. Number three is short-term borrowing. We've never had to employ this, but should we ever get into a, a cash situation where we don't have enough cash to cover our bills, we can borrow against anticipated receipts within that same fiscal year. So for example, say that we have a big debt payment that's due in January, and we haven't got the tax revenue in yet, but we know that it's going to come in in February. And I'm just making this all up to still mm -hmm. mm -hmm. the point. We would borrow against those anticipated future revenues in order to make the obligatory payment. So again, we've never ever had to do this, but it's always nice to have that in your toolbox if you ever get yourself into a jam. Um, fund balances, let's see. Article 4 is showing up on your, no, unfortunately, oh, no, unfortunately it isn't. This is a, what we call a sort of sweep Thank article. You. Thank you, Linda. Sure. We're in business. Now we're doing this again. So, do you have an extra one? Did, did you get one? Uh, I, I think okay. I need to speak to the old one. Okay, there you go. But do you have one? Uh, yes, I, uh, those. Yes. But we can share. Yeah. Yes. No, no, there's, there's still one. Uh, okay. There's still a couple in the one one here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is uh, number four is uh, just a housekeeping article. Um, we bought ourselves a town staff vehicle. <coughs> and I think the asking price from town meeting was $30,000. We didn't actually spend that much. We borrowed for that money, so we have a little bit of a balance, less than $2,000 still on our books. And rather than having this on the books, just cluttering it up, and it has to be reported to SEC, we uh, every town meeting we sweep that back into uh, the pot from which it came from. And in this case, it's borrowing, so we're just going to reduce the borrowing authorization. And again, that just simplifies the chart account. Um, 
The next one is uh, the annual payment of $26,000 into a special capital stabilization fund for the replacement of the membranes at the water treatment plant. It filters or a train of 10 or so of these that water gets uh, filtered through. The filters <laughs> remove everything out of the water down to the size of a virus. Um, so it's really, really uh, cleaning the natural water before it gets to the tap. These have a 10-year life expectancy. It costs $260,000 to replace them, so we put aside $26,000 from water reserves into a special capital stabilization fund dedicated that for that purpose. And there's about $78,000 in there right, right mm -hmm. now with this payment. Then finally, number six is the CPA administrative. There's this administrative requirement through the CPA that they have to take the new money that comes in and they have to put it into certain pots, open space, housing, historic preservation. And they also have to uh, create an account for their administrative costs for lawyers, for mailings, for any other kind of uh, incidental costs costs that they may incur. So that's two thousand dollars. That two thousand dollars comes from CPA, so there's no impact on the taxes. So that's your consent agenda. I mean I have a question. I, sure. I, I thought and I don't know, maybe it's just so many numbers in my head. Wasn't it thirty thousand? It was. No. Uh, per you know, is it is it a percentage of what we get? Yes. Is that why you look why it's lowered from thirty thousand from last year going into mm -hmm. each to 25? Uh, I asked Andy about that. I didn't get a very clear answer that uh, he wanted 25 into each box. Uh, that certainly satisfies your requirement. Oh, okay. Um, so I don't know. Well, I'd rather only do what's required because then it's once it's in that bucket, then it's, you're then you're stuck doing it with just that. Otherwise, it just stays in their CPA general fund, which makes sense as right. you have more you know yeah and, and I just don't know because it seems like we may have gone down a little bit because each year the state gives you less and less so maybe there was a smaller percentage of what we got from the state but I wouldn't think it would be that much smaller that it would lower it from 30 to 25 yeah well, yeah I double checked with Andy you about this one okay. so this, this, this yeah. is what he's asking for us, so it's good so can I have a motion for these six articles that make consent? Yeah. Uh, I make a motion to approve the six articles on the consent agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. That's six articles down. <laughs> Article seven is a pri two prior year <coughs> invoices. Uh, and this requires a nine tenths majority vote for town meeting. Uh, the first one is for ETNL company that did the Route 9 widening just down here. Um, they made a mistake in their paperwork. Uh, it didn't get detected until we closed out all of the accounts. So there's no more money to pay this this, this for the, the explanation is on page 9. All right, so this uh, amount is $1,467.43. Prior year bill with no funding source. And it has a different number. There's two. There are two. Fourteen sixty-eight. Right? Fourteen sixty-eight. Yes, mm -hmm. well, yes, on the in the explanation, it's oh, right, fourteen sixty-seven right. forty-three. Yeah. But you're, I assume it's being rounded. Yeah, rounded. Okay. Up. Okay. The other one was a bill that uh, was never paid to the stipend so to the zoning board of appeals for the second half of FY two thousand eighteen, and that's five hundred sixty-five uh, five hundred sixty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Okay. Uh, I'd make a. Oh, 
And so where are we getting this money from? Well, the ETNL one is a water-related uh, bill, so we would take it out of water reserves. You have a million dollars in water reserves. Okay, so that's... And then the... The other one will have to be raised and appropriate. We'll have to fit that into the whole budget. Okay. All right, I'd make a motion to approve. Um, Article I'm 7 second. as written. Second. Do we have any more discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> All right, thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. Article 8 is the omnibus budget. We're still working on that. Mm -hmm. Now we got to add $567 to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we can do it. <laughs> Article 9 is the enterprise fund. So it used to be that we did the enterprise fund and general fund in one article because of the requirements of the Department of Revenue. Uh, we're going to be separating those out and, and we'll have all of that information for you. By the way, if anybody wants to have budgetary fund, um, on April 24th I'm going to be sitting here and I'm going to be running all the numbers and preparing the uh, budget sheets for the annual town meeting. So anybody wants to help me with that, bring your calculators and uh, you're, not, you're not looking like I'm so... Gee, what was the date? <laughs> yeah, the sorry. The 24th. Oh, yeah. Take the get your, get your calendar. <laughs> sorry. I just <laughs> completely busy. 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 Gosh, gosh darn it. I'll be uh, here, David. I'll be here. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> but it's an important exercise because yeah. we want to make sure the numbers mm -hmm. are, that we present to the voters are accurate. That's right. That they've been double checked and we can what explain time? that all day mm -hmm. until we're done. All right, well, I'll call you after 5 30. <laughs> <laughs> you take the night shift? Yeah. <laughs> Article 10 on page 12. This I'm writing it down, David, just in case. Thank you. April 24th. All day. I actually have an appointment in the morning, so it'll probably be from 11 yeah. o'clock on. Uh, Article 10 is the capital article. The capital committee is meeting next Monday. Next Monday. Um, they're probably <coughs> going to be deferring a lot of this because there's simply not a lot of cash for this. Okay. So you think it's going to get deferred, that one? I don't think the whole thing will be deferred. Okay. The capital assets schedule for 6550 is a high priority. Um, the town clerk voting, voting booths was a requirement mm -hmm. for 7,000. And then we have OSHA requirements that we need to be satisfying. And then so the uh, furniture for 10,500 is towards that effort. And again, the capital committee is going to be wrestling to try to come up with how to fund the, all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Article 11 is the revolving fund for the treasurer. Do you want to talk a little bit about it? Uh, um, this, uh, this is the first year we've had the revolving fund, and because we did just finish some large, uh, a couple of large ones that uh, were collected at the end of the summer, the uh, fund has gotten well filled with uh, attorney's fees that we've collected or expenses that we've collected so that we can use in future tax title and um, the way the revolving fund works is the amount over the cap at the end of the year goes back to, into the general, uh, so it goes back into the general fund and um, since we're not doing a lot of uh, litigation this year because we did so much last year I wanted to make sure we kept enough uh, in uh, the revolving fund so that when we had to get going again in the next couple of years that we had enough money to use it without having going having to go back to the general fund. So, I mean, I don't know that it's exact amount, but we're just raising that cap level to allow the fund to keep $7,500 going into the next fiscal year without having to turn the money back. And it's still the only purpose that it can be used for. It's just we're not going to have the same opportunities of getting the money back up there over the next couple of years, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Which. <laughs> But uh, mm -hmm. we just want to make sure that we can hold on to the money that we did collect and use it over the next few years. Um, 
Yeah. We'll revisit it again because this we've only just gotten going on it this year. Yeah, a couple of years back, these expenses were carried in the budget, both in the treasurer's budget right. and the collector's budget. And uh, what it meant was is that the people who paid their taxes were were paying for our efforts to go after the people who don't pay their taxes. So we put both of them into revolving funds. And because you have a larger part of the pie in terms of going after uh, people who don't unfortunately pay their taxes, uh, in your expenses are higher. So she's just asking for an expansion of the, her ability to exercise that account as well as the rollover for one year to the next. There's no impact upon taxes whatsoever, mm. other than it, it, it improves our ability to collect unpaid back taxes, which rolls into free cash. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, isn't there a chart that we set up each year with yeah, all I'm of them, with all the caps? I'll, I'll do that. I'll, it's right in the bylaws, but I'll make sure that the chart is there. The chart on what all revolving on all accounts. of the revolving funds and what the caps are and what the annual expenditures are out of that. I know you had a large one for our park and rec because mm -hmm. a lot of the budget was run through it there. Um, so, um, yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is in your bylaws. So, <coughs> You're online, chapter yeah. eighty-six. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we set it up. We set it up at these lower values, but I think we just like to have a little bit more of a reserve in there. Mm -hmm. What's the closure? So I have a question. Mm -hmm. So this is the revolving mm -hmm. fund. So, and, and so whatever extra money that's left in there rolls in, but you get to keep this. It's, do you have to go through town? Do we have to have this on the warrant every year? No. No, it's, this is just because it's a change from what we've set up. So We're changing a, the fund. But the once it's in a revolving, you can you can let it roll over. It's set and go, go mm -hmm. forward. Yeah, it used, it used to be in the, under the old rules that you had to vote it every year, but under the Municipal Modernization Act, you just have to vote it once, and then you vote it when you're amending it. This is an amendment. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's just the expenses that go in there. So when someone pays their taxes, the taxes you know we collect as taxes, and then they're also paying all the expenses. I think I went to you like was two or three years ago. Um, you may have been mm -hmm. the only one on at the time. I went and asked for an extra seven thousand oh, dollars to go over to go after some, some old tax mm -hmm. title amounts. So you had to transfer it from your finance committee reserve fund into my budget. Mm -hmm. And then when the money was collected, the, the collected money goes back to the general funds. But now when we have a revolving fund, what we do is we capture in the revolving fund the expense portion of it, so the attorney's fees and the filing fees, and those, we get the expenses back. And then next time we have to file or use the attorney, that's where we get the money from. So I actually have in, the, in my own budget, and the treasurer budget now, there is zero dollars on what used to be about a $5,000 legal fee budget. So now that's zero and it's all coming out of here. So I just didn't want it to get caught short because we are we do have a couple that are mm -hmm. increasing again. Mm. What's the pleasure of the board? Okay. I would like to make a motion to uh, approve um, what is it number uh, which one's number, number, number 11. 11. Article 11. Article 11. Uh, regarding the revolving fund for the treasurer, as written. No second. Second? Yep. Okay, do we have any more discussion on it? No. no. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Article 12, this is a housekeeping article to accept the provisions of Mass General Law Chapter 200A, Section 9, relating to the distribution of unclaimed property. So this is a housekeeping article that allows the town to dispose of unclaimed property, mostly in the form of un uncashed checks. Okay. So quite mm. a few of them at the end of the year, and we have to jump through hoops to do it. So this makes it that much easier for us to do our work. So it builds free cash. OK, so I have questions about it. Yep. <laughs> so this is money unclaimed money so checks that you are writing to employ who are these checks they to? are both vendors and there might even be a couple of employees in there and, and they, they don't cash vendors. their checks they don't cash them and in some cases yep. seriously they've been replaced twice okay i mean we have i don't i don't know i don't understand i think um 
and, and they go back over several years and they've been published and you do uh, not do have things. to send them to the state you can keep the money yes if you adopt this if we adopt this yes, so we it comes back to us so yes yeah, so we have to advertise and it, you know, there's an expense to average you know to publish the checks uh, checklist and I think that it uh, do you have to so do it like a yeah. annual thing or um, on a website? No, intermittently is fine, and I think it's been done once since I came and went back over several years, and all but about uh, ten maybe were claimed at that time. People came in and said, "Oh, okay, I didn't know," or someone else, our neighbor saw their name in it. Just like when you look at these lists. Uh, well, yeah, because else. I know that if you just like in a place like a bank or somewhere, mm -hmm. any um, if you don't use the money or you don't touch mm -hmm. it in three years it has to go to the state if you don't cash a check or the money has to go to the state as unclaimed abandoned property no, we can, but we, can, we can claim it but we can't claim it until we've gone through all the steps all the steps <laughs> okay um, this is something that uh, yeah Joan had picked up on that we ought to be doing and sure and I so like she it submitted it yeah I like it what's well, the pleasure of the board I'll make a motion to uh, in favor of Motion, uh, article, 12. 14, article 12. Article 12. Acceptance of, of unclaimed property. Mm -hmm. I'll second it. Any more discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Number 13 is now ready for prime time, so we'll see it in the fall. Um, 14 is also something that we need, but we may want to defer this to the fall when we have more free cash. Is a $19,000 article. It has to do with our revolving fund established under Mass General Law 44, Section 53C. So we have a revolving fund established for private duty details. So when you're driving down a road and you see a bucket truck working on the wires and there's a police cruiser with the blinking red lights and blue lights and, uh, and people uh, directing traffic. The vendor is paying that cruiser fee and the uh, police officer to do their work. So the police officer signs up for the private duty detail. The vendor gets billed. That bill goes to gets uh, paid, and that payment goes into this revolving fund. And when there's sufficient money in that revolving fund, then the officer gets and the town collects the money for the use of the vehicle. All right. So I can't, re can't remember how much is in that. Well, right I think it's 21, which is why 19 was asked for, to make it 40. Yes. Does that make sense? I, I, that's what I'm thinking it so was. So there's 21,000 in there already. The problem is, is that on big jobs particularly, there can be a long time bef between payments, and mm -hmm. so police officers are waiting, and the town is waiting for their money it all gets paid out eventually, um, but it makes makes it difficult to recruit for these jobs. If we could increase the seed money, particularly knowing that we have big projects coming on with the replacement of the Bay Road Bridge and the widening of Route 9, that this would be a benefit to the police officers who take the job. They would not have to wait, wait as long. So this would be a one-time payment, and that's why I'm thinking this may be a free cash article, and we may be deferring it, because right now, well, I don't know what our financial position is at the moment. But, um, what do you think? I think it's worth doing. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of affordability at this point. I think it's definitely worth doing. Mm -hmm. And so when someone does the detail and, and, and does one of these, they're not under the regular salaries Correct. of the police. Right. So if they're working a lot of hours, there's no overtime there. There's no overtime. Right. right. Um, it does create a uh, difficult situation sometimes because somebody could work for a UMass job and somebody could work for Verizon and they could have worked the same day and UMass pays its bill on time and Verizon takes her time, this officer is getting paid for work on the same day that this officer mm -hmm. also worked but didn't get paid. Mm -hmm. mm. So we, we actually, there was a, a change um, a few years ago so that it is the, the first, the, uh, 
the first officers getting the uh, the officers get paid who have been waiting the longest. Mm. It used oh. to be a direct match. Oh, okay. But now it's not a direct match. It's now the money's coming in and they uh, they get paid in order of, of the work that they oh, were doing done. So you. that's a, that is an improvement. Thank but you. nonetheless, that uh, on a, on the busy time of year they can. Um, I'm going to say like you know six six weeks. What? Oh uh, wow, we, yeah. that's not good. Six yeah. weeks between the time they, they did well, the, say, week, the yeah. work. Let's and the, the the bill goes out for the services and then oh. the company pays. And if the and, and if the company's paying something like twenty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and they're paying it within thirty you know within thirty mm -hmm. days of receiving the invoices, mm -hmm. and use yeah, and they're piling up them. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean that's not typical. That's during the busy time. You know, that's sure. in the summer, and yeah. there's a lot of construction going on. And then usually over the winter, there's a uh, less we, we recoup. And get caught up a bit because there is less of it. Is is that how most towns work? They they try to help out with something like that. And I mean, is this what, this what is we're typical. looking for? This is yeah. I mean, we're so we want what we want to do is we want to fund it ahead of time. So we want to make sure that they can just get paid and then it will reimburse us. Then we let later right. payments fill it back up again. Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah. wondering. So we've got it's our reserve. I'm in so favor of it. I'm just curious. Is that what? Oh, a lot of other towns a lot are doing it. I, I doing. don't know if other towns do it that way. I, we can ask. Um, I do know our history with this is we, when <coughs> we first started, we had a, an account that had about $10,000 in it. And the union came to me and said, you know, it's not enough. We need another 10 in there. And I said, ah, you know, they're just making it up. But mm -hmm. then I ran the numbers and I mm -hmm. said, yes, they're right. Mm -hmm. We need to bring this up to $21,000. Now, as as the pay has increased and the size of the projects have increased, um, adding another nineteen is is definitely worth it. Yeah, I'm for it. So yeah, yeah. should not be waiting. Yeah, I like to help them you, out. You, you do the work. You want to get paid. Yeah, right. well, it also make, it helps. it's also a public safety issue. Yeah. Because, you know, if somebody doesn't want to take a job, a job not you know, for a money. And, and they're they're making efforts to make sure that the billing gets out and collected, trying to step up the collections. Yeah. And sure. we're uh, we're talking with them about how we can get more of the vendors so that they can pay directly, um, electronically, um, so that mm -hmm. you know that. Right. I don't know. I don't know what the day it does. <laughs> it doesn't take two more days to find a stamp or something. Right. <laughs> if it's so. in, if it's in Hadley, does it have to be a Hadley police officer? It doesn't no, have to be, not. but they get right of first refusal. Okay. I was on Rocky Hill Road the other day, and I saw a police officer helping someone change their tire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. But I love Hattie. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So I guess the, the yeah. vote I'm asking for right now is the concept vote rather than a timing vote, because we mm -hmm. may have to defer this particular article, but. I'll try not to. Um, but are you in favor or not in favor of this particular article? I'm in favor of the article. I'm in favor. I'm, I'm in, in favor. favor. I just don't know where we're, you know, it's just I would be more questioning where is the money coming from. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to put you down as a 400 zero zero, mm -hmm. and we'll raise that issue when we talk about it with the select board. Okay. Article 15. All right, so this is going to generate a lot of conversation on Wednesday night. Just a little bit of background. Um, we have liquor licenses. The liquor licenses are based upon a quota that's received from the state. We have two, mm -hmm. in general, we have two different kinds of liquor licenses. There's the on-premise liquor license, which is exercised in restaurants. You go in, you order salmon teriyaki with a nice mm. chardonnay uh, and they serve it to you at the table uh, mm. the, they're exercising that liquor license under an on-premise liquor license mm -hmm. then there's the package <coughs> store liquor licenses the off-premise liquor licenses and the state state says you can have as many of these for on-premise and as many of these as for your off-premise um, a couple of years back, we ran out of the restaurant type, and so we petitioned the, the legislature to pass special legislation increasing the number of liquor licenses above the quota for 
restaurant and they said yes we'll do it so they gave us 12 additional licenses mm -hmm. which allows us to continue with our economic expansion with the 110 grill and uh, some of the other fine restaurants that have come into uh, Hadley mm -hmm. so we have plenty of restaurant licenses with the Pride Station, we gave out our last off-premise liquor license. We had two all-alcoholic and five malt and wine. And now we don't have any more. And so the, the business community has asked us to look into getting more liquor licenses of the package store variety. And so what this special act of legislation proposes is that we, we get granted five off-premise all-alcoholic and five off-premise malt and wine for the Route 9 corridor. Does it cost anything for us to no, get a liquor license? No, it generates revenue. No, but I mean, so why, is there any downside? Yes, and we're going to talk about that in uh, a lot on Wednesday night. That the business community is not in one mind on this issue. That there's a number of people, small business owners, who are very concerned that their business is going to be affected if we have additional liquor licenses to hand out, particularly to the larger retailers. So, Whole Foods, for example, has a malt and wine off premise liquor license. They would like to upgrade to an all alcoholic off premise liquor license. So there's going to be a lot of talk on, on Wednesday night about whether we're going to go forward with this. So if they did that, let's just say they, they did that, would we get that, the malt and liquor one? I mean the malt and wine one back? Okay. So we would have six of that one and then one less of the all liquor license? Do they get, when, if we were to give them the all liquor license, do they give us the other one back? Yes, they do. Yeah. They can't have, they can't have two. No, of it doesn't just parts. expire or go away. You, yeah, well, you no. get them back. If someone closes a restaurant or something, we yes. get it back, right? Yes. How okay. are we doing Thank for on-premise licenses, are we? Uh, we have five of each, five malt and wine and five all alcoholic. Have they both all been awarded for on-premise? No, those are available right now. Mm -hmm. All five? All, all ten. Mm -hmm. Five of each. Mm -hmm. Five wine and No, wine I understand. When you, when you say we have them, do you mean... They, we have them to give out, so potentially we have, them we to give have out ten spaces. Right. Yeah. Already. That would serve. Yes. Because I was just wondering if we should ask for more of those also. I don't think you need it right now. You yeah. you could uh, with one ten one we gave one to one ten grill, uh, so you have another nine restaurants that could come in before we ex ex right. But we're out of off premise. No, we have uh, yeah out of off premise. We're out yeah. of those. Okay, that's what confused me when you guys said we have five yeah. of each. So my recommendation for tonight is to defer any recommendation on this particular article and but now you're prepped for hearing the discussion on Wednesday night unless you have a particular idea. So well, I guess I'm unclear about what the um, the argument against having more of them is. Who who does it hurt? The well, folks currently have businesses. the businesses. If so for example, right in front of right in front of Whole Foods there's a wonderful yeah. establishment that's been there for years that serves beer, wine and liquor. I see. So if Whole Foods did the same, yeah. right? So competition might be too great for this. Or it might create critical mass and drive up more uh, demand. I mean, I guess that's the argument. I'm not saying yeah. either way, yeah. but I'm just saying. Yeah. So I had expected a robust debate on Wednesday night on okay. this one. Yeah. So. So we'll defer to. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Wednesday night. <laughs> The big guns go at it. <laughs> you don't want to approve it and then just... Yeah. <laughs> just All right, hanging. the next, the next mm. bunch of articles have to do with CPA. And the first one is $210,000 for land preservation for the shallow property. What is it? 
16. Page 16. 16 on page 16. Okay. And the Shala property is the property that is out by Cummins Road. Mm -hmm. It's out there and it's going into, and it goes out into um, Shattuck, I believe, and like towards Sunderland. And I think a little bit of this property actually goes into Amherst. But, Amherst, um, but we wouldn't be paying. But that. we're not paying for them. That's correct. But they, there's a, quite a large piece of property, and they're looking to uh, just pres preserve it. So, so the owners of the property are giving or selling. They want to trade their rights to future development mm -hmm. for an amount of money. Yeah, we we chip those take chips in ninety percent. We chip in ten. So once this transaction happens, are those right? Do those rights belong to the town forever? Belong to both the town and the state. So we forever. Co we co hold mm -hmm. yeah, yeah until. And they're they're able to continue farming it. They have mm -hmm. to. Okay. Okay. They can't let it go. Or somebody else could. Yeah. But I mean, it just has to be back. farmland, and they can rent it out. They can't go foul. Can't go foul. That's interesting. I mean, you could follow it for a season, but you can't allow secondary tertiary growth to wood, right. woody plants. I see. To, yeah. Okay. I think it's a great you know, use of CPA money is to keep our land yeah. preserved. For sure. And this is, this is a uh, preferred part of town. We don't have as much APR up in the north end of town as we would like, and so this, is, this fits in very well with the open space recreation plan and with the master plan. How, how many acres do we know? Good question. How many acres is this? Mm, it's quite a bit. I just remember seeing the map. Let me see if I have it. So presumably these amounts have been adjudged by some assessors to be the correct amounts. Isn't that done at the state level? Yeah, there, there's an, uh, an appraisal just that's done by difference. the state. With their homework. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I don't have so we're just really, that We're not thinking about the amounts here. We're thinking about the principles. and. Right. Just thinking about spending two hundred ten thousand from our CPA yeah. for this purpose. Yeah, no impact on taxes. Did you see how many acres? I don't have it. No, I don't have it on me. How many acres? I just know there's two two properties, and this is one. This is the larger one. Okay. So I'll ask that question about um, how many acres are we talking about? What's the pleasure? I'd like to make a motion to approve um, Article um, 16. 16 as written. Um, I'll second it. Any more discussion on it? No. Not for me. All in favor? Aye. 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 Line preservation number two, meat ball of $82,091. And again, some bills represent um, our commitment of 10% towards the value of the development rights on that property. What's this location? This location is, um, my understanding is right here by East Hampton Savings Bank, right over here off on East Street. Um, how do we In the back? In the back. Um, I'd be very curious as how big it is. You know, I, mean, I know we don't this, know that. Thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember, but this is the smaller one. That's probably are too why the dollar amount is so much smaller. <laughs> do you have any feeling for like, is it, are we talking like two acres, five acres, ten acres, a hundred acres? Oh, it's definitely not a hundred acres. I'm thinking a couple acres, five, maybe two to five. And it's not where I think the other one might be, if I had to guess, maybe in the, I don't know, 20 or more. Yeah, the other one's much bigger. I'd like to ask about that um, that condition that they have two years to spend the funding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is to, say more to about buy that. the right to buy the? No, for, just with their monies, they have that much time. So the farmer gets the, the money, the and they have two right? years to spend it. No. So on all the CPA no. articles, no. they started doing that and putting that clause in all the time, they, because a lot of them weren't getting spent. So they were approving and they were just hanging out there. So they started to put the clause in that uh, that they're looking for it to be spent within the two years. If not, they could come and ask for an extension for a, a reason or the money would just go back into the CPA. 
But yeah. Valerie but was asking this. if yeah. the farmer's pen. I don't think it's the farmer. No, I think it's the no, farmer no, has it's... two years to decide whether to go through with it oh. or not, or the state has two Is years that, to go. It, oh, like the town yeah. spends yeah. two years so, to spend the money. Right? So the, the state and the town work together right. on, on, the, on this project, and we have a two-year window in which to do it. The farmer's it's already made that commitment. Oh. Farmer can keep. Well, it, it <laughs> has been. <laughs> As okay. written, it does say the applicant will have yeah. two years to spend the funding. Yeah, the, the, the town and is the applicant. What if they want to put that right? in the retirement? But the town is the applicant. <laughs> so right? that's what yeah. she, well, Okay, that's what confused me. In this particular case, I think the applicant on both of these is actual Kestrel Trust okay. because they're doing it for. So we'll give them the money and they'll go ahead and give it to the farmer. The, and that means spending and it. They I think that's won't. Right. No, it's going to stay in our account until it closes. Yep. Yeah. Until the deal closes, yeah. so so we're not talking about the individual farmer no, having to no, spend no, this no, money. No, no. I, they, they're talking about because if not, yeah. I'm going to go to their house. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got two years. You got one more night to spend. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. <laughs> Forget your retirement. <laughs> <laughs> the wording should be revisited, but um, okay, <laughs> going forward. But but it, but means, it means what. For the, uh, CPA for the, for the CPA it. to be spent, okay. and then in the, we okay. do not spend it. We don't write any checks out and send it until it's actually uh, their closing effect. Yeah. We've had the, we've had them cut it so close that they're actually stopping by town hall and picking up the check on the way to the closing. Mm. So uh -huh. it's usually a mass okay. scramble that happens Re uh, really when we, when we clinch the deal. They wait, 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 and then yeah. has to close Friday. Okay. But yes, the CPA is interested in not approving uh, articles and having money committed and then not being able to spend it on something else when, when something doesn't go through. They're looking for a natural, what do you call it, a lapsing of the article. We're so back, totally yeah. that. so yeah. in this particular case, which isn't a bad thing, so you know how David does this cleanup because yeah. right. sometimes in here, this is just so it automatically cleans up. Make sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sometimes with the bylaw that says you've got to pay the spend it in three years if not it gets automatically returned Bellum does that oh. and uh, all right well that's good with this okay yeah, uh, make so a, right, make a motion to accept article 17 as written second aye aye aye, aye. 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 18 five hundred dollars for the two historic 1740 era maps of Hadley. So we found in a safe in the town hall um, deerskin maps oh, man. dating back to about the time when Hadley was much larger when it incorporated South Hadley, Amherst, Pelham, and Hatfield. Mm -hmm. Wow, and Hatfield so too. It's got uh, streets, houses, um, lot lines uh, la laid out and we're not quite sure where these four maps uh, are in terms of the geography here uh, but they're, they're printed on deer skin and uh, we want to curate them so that uh, they don't disintegrate or, or anything like that. We also would like to do the research on the provenance you know how old are they what are they depicting? Are they connected to any other known collection of maps from that period? There may be other deerskin maps, but we don't know. Five hundred dollars for that purpose. I make a motion to support that. I second it. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, Zaturka Park. All right, so Turker Park is likely to come back for $32,000 to finish the reconstruction. They ran into trouble this past year. Um, they had to cut the, the project short. It was not able to finish it off. They put some work on, on hold um, because we just ran out of the, uh, the, the good weather. So there'll be some work in the spring for which we already have money, but this will pay for the paving of the uh, of the uh, walkways so what, that's what that's for when they were digging they found more stuff like the stumps and, and like some holes and stuff like that so they had to do it it is the third time back to CPA 
so I'm expecting they'll get a lot of grief. You know, it was something that was talked about. It was it was one of those things. It's it was. Everybody knew it was a stump dump. <laughs> but so why was it a surprise? I guess when they tested, they didn't get. There was it was just you know when you started to do it, it became a bigger project. Mm. Mm -hmm. And but the, the my thinking on this was, and some of the others thought, so you could see that one person was against it at CPA, and it's just because you know it's like tiresome. It's like the third time mm -hmm. back. It's like mm -hmm. every time there's something. Why can't? Why was it not? Mm -hmm. Did you not know or prepared the first time? Mm -hmm. But at this point, there was so much money that has been put into it. You're almost there at this point just finish it <laughs> because <laughs> it's doing nobody any good if it's just you know you yeah. spent all this money and you and you don't have a finished product yeah mm -hmm. right so um and, and basically i think it's it's the walk you know they want the basketball just the paving one like small little basketball court a little it's a play area and maybe a walkway so it's not like they have big things there it's not tennis courts and they right. were going to do a theater, but they're, you know, the ample theater with the, they're not doing that now. It's just a small, basic park. Yeah. It's an open space. Mm -hmm. And I think the paving of the sidewalks were more for um, able body, or non able body, mm -hmm. right? wheelchair accessibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last I knew. But the good commissioners, I think, have taken it over, so they'll probably answer more questions on it if you have them. Yeah, it was for the first few times. It was all run by the friends of Saturka Park, where the commissioners weren't doing it. But they have uh, now are not existing anymore. So that the the commissioners now have that project to do. It's kind of hard to be neighbors in charge of a town property. So yeah, I think that's where the like turning it back, yeah. turning it back yeah. over to the people who were mm -hmm. hired. By well, the town to be the commissions of legally, the park. Legally, legally, they have control over the right. parks. You know, that's part of the Mass General Law is that it's their park. They have the power of select board members within that park. So mm -hmm. it's theirs now, and they're asking for thirty-two thousand dollars to bring this in for a landing. Do we have a motion? I need a motion to uh, vote on to approve that motion. Article nineteen. I second. Um, Aye. 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 20 Friends of Lake Warner. What do they want? Uh, <laughs> lots, of, lots of ones. Speaking of. $1,517 for the purpose of building a boardwalk on conservation land bordering Lake Warner. I actually don't know very much about this project. It doesn't seem like it would. It's well, not much of a board that's work. not much, yeah. Well, this is not, okay, so this this is a gentleman who came and he wanted to do, and, and part of the money that he was, he was going to do all the work for it, okay? So this is a small little walkway. Have you been to the one on the bridge going over to Sunderland? It is very small and it has like a little open area. Oh. If you're on that bridge and Which you... Which side? On the Sunderland on side? On Street? Yes. Okay. So if you're going over the bridge toward Sugar, you look mm -hmm. to the right, you'll see this really cute little walkway that goes off to a deck. It's actually visited a lot because it's a nice way to get to safely get to the river's edge. Mm -hmm. So I wonder if it was something like that. Well, this this in this area, see, I'm not familiar enough with the area, um, but in this where he's talking about, this is near his house, and it's a walkway and. There's a lot of people, there are, now I guess, I don't know how many, it's a lot, but there's some people using it. And what it is, is when the people are walking through, it's, it's, it's you know, doing some damage to the land because it's a little bit wet or whatever. Mm -hmm. So making a little bit of a mess. So he's looking to put, you know, a few boards there um, to... A wooden walkway. Just some wooden walkway. Yeah. Just some, and nothing huge. But then there was a lot of questions. Well, what type of wood are you going to be using? And they talked about pressure treated wood so that it would last. Well, then there was questions well, about are we water. doing pressure treated in, in on the ground? And now there was questions about, okay, well, how long is this wood going to last for? Is this, you know, it, it's not. I made a, a great one out of recycled um, 
palettes. It's They're not a free. big project, and it's a person <laughs> that is taking on a project yeah. near yeah. his area just to make so instead you know how when you're walking on a path and then you get a little bit of a wet area you know people mm -hmm. just throw some boards down or a piece of tree yeah. and you walk on them yeah. and i think that he's looking to do something there for that it's almost nothing financially <laughs> So there you go. if someone's willing to put their energy into, energy and effort yeah. to yeah. save that land yeah it, it was there was there was a lot of discussion on it because at first it was a smaller amount and then it started to grow I mean at first it was it, it was it was even just less than that but then it, it what is so expensive now it's unbelievable it started to get a little bit more and a little bit more and has he has so if we give the money is there a blueprint of what he will do because pressure treated wood is not so awesome near water Right. That we're trying to preserve. Well, so, there, there was... I mean, are we just going to give him the money and we don't know if he's using what he ever is using on our land? That's, that's Whose land is it? Haven't they improved pressure treated wood a lot lately? Like, it doesn't have arsenic anymore. Right. I, I mean, I'm just asking. Good. I don't know. I think it's gotten better. Yeah. I, I, for me, I'm not a fan of this project just because, you know, this is, this is, this is not something that's going to last. It's not a big pride. It's not something that we're going to have a nice big walkway. It, it, it doesn't have a full blown plan. What kind of wood are we doing? Is this going to, you know, this is just, and, and, and it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I have a feeling. I don't want to, you know, here you have some wood. Well, next person wants some wood. Here you have some right, wood. Right, right, right. I, I don't well, know. Well, it's Friends of Lake Warner. It's not an individual. This is friends of Lake Warner asking for this, so they will be overseeing it and getting the invoices out, and um, they and they the are things? it's That's, their that, that is it, true. That is true. So they, it was a gentleman that came, yeah, so I just that, was thinking it was so. This is the conservation land. That it's up to them to yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that, so if they have, yeah, I mean, friends of Lake Warner is a. They've been doing it for a while, so they're they are more of a. Where is it? Is it something that people can now access the water a little easier for the public? Or is it in somebody's backyard? Like, well, it's, I mean, it's on it's, conservation land. It's on the land, but it's near this person, I think this person's house, because he uses it often. Is it just get for to him really, or is it just... Well, he says there's people. other people use. he says there's other people using it. So, you know, I think, and it is probably, yeah, conservation like, land, so you can. Is there a where you can go? Is it down off Stockwell, know. like where that area, that walk area is, like down in that area, it gets pretty mucky. Maybe we, we should defer on this one. We don't seem to know anything about it. We don't know what the. Um, I mean, I could. Um, well, it's to down Lake Warner. So, I mean, it's. Um, I mean, so I assume you cross that little bridge in North. Hadley yeah, on there. The I do have the side. application. But a lot of I can, if we want to even do it on Wednesday, if you do want more information. I have the actual application from the individual that gives you a little bit more details about what that's, he's asking that's for. That's probably helpful. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, moving right along. Sure. Right. sure. Article 21, $810 for water testing. This is also something that is something that we're not quite sure about, but this gentleman wants to also um, take which I think is good to test it, Lake Warner wants to test the water, assuming that this water is not something you could swim in or is something that you would want to eat the fish out of, um, but needs to have it posted, I guess. So this individual is willing to take the sample and bring it to the lab, which is great, um, and then we'll pay for the lab. Um, to get it posted and I think that we should probably do that but the question is is shouldn't our board of we always we came up well is this something we're gonna have to do every year wouldn't the board of health do that is that something that our 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 town, town would have to be anyway. responsible for I thought this is what part of what they had been doing this is part of the what the friends of Lake Warner is doing and we paid for testing before I don't think this is the first time. This isn't the first time. Uh, now they're asking so CPA for it? They're asking no, they're CPA for it. Have they ever? Or no, has no, this no, I mean, this, this would also fall under MS4. So uh, the municipal stormwater is part mm -hmm. of our requirements. Like it's municipal stormwater. 
So we've raised money for that purpose already. We have $390,000 for compliance for the new EPA regulations heading into the stormwater to Lake Warner and to Four River. Hmm. Um, so hmm. this, this is probably testing for things other than what's yes, under the stormwater requirements, but we do the we are in the hope for us. testing that water. Are we yeah. sure that they're, they're not just replicating what's being done elsewhere? Yeah. Probably not. If the friends are doing it, I'm sure they know what they're well, They're a good organization. Mm -hmm. Most of the, well, I think. Well, I don't know. They're, they're looking for a posting. Do we have something? Do we have paperwork showing <coughs> what we've done? I mean, is it posted? Well, posted for what? For, so to we, to what, so what, what, so what's, what, what did you, what did we test for when we tested? Well, let's, let's say. I'm just making this stuff up, okay, like any beach, you test for fecal coliform, sure. okay, if you get to certain levels, you put a big stick yeah. in the ground yeah. with a sign that says don't swim. We don't have that there, right? And, but you take that sign down when the old coast is clear, mm -hmm. you know, three days hence, you know, the water tides come in and flush everything out and mm -hmm. and your issues are gone away and so it's now open for safe, uh, swimming again, so I'm not sure what the posting would do. Fishing. Well, maybe that's exactly what they're saying we should have, is a posting that says, do not eat this fish, do not <laughs> swim here, do not da da da, do not da da da, and we don't. So maybe they're saying, let's just make sure we're getting this testing done, and therefore we can make that analogy and put it up on a sign. Or is it even needed? <clears throat> we've been going this far. Sort of an under is Maybe there... you can swim in it. Well, the town does. Does the town does, I'd love to. The yeah. town does not own the water. Right. You know, okay. That's, that's owned by Kestrel Trust or Friends of Lake Warner, I think. Well, so maybe point. that's why they want it. Maybe they've got their liability issues. And so they want to be able to post mm -hmm. something yeah. with this test to because say, "Hi, we've done this test. You can't, or you can." Because they're Happy responsible, day. not us. Right. I thought I didn't realize the town didn't own that. We own, we own the stream that's underneath, but we oh. don't own the water that's above that the stream. The dam that. issues. Dam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That happened. Okay. That did happen. <laughs> well, I mean, the question, there was that. other questions because of the, obviously the problems with that lake and being, looking, you know, seeming like it's polluted, but... And my understanding is it was a lot to do with the UMass coming yeah. in. Is, am I right? Sorry, I haven't. Um, you mean a million years ago? A while, yes. Yeah. Um, my understanding is, uh, I think I've heard Johnny mention um, Dan, um, Dan Linko, Willie, were the mm -hmm. two that did some, you know, way back when were there. I think they said, and and could see the water that was coming in, or did something with the the um, pipes that were coming. But anyways, if you mass, oh, you know, can clean it up at all. And I know that at one point, you mass was going to the conservation committee for approval on some other items. It would be great to say, oh, well. You should mm. clean up this lake. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, but they're obliged to do that under MS4 anyways. And my so and then they, they have I, their own MS4 issues. Uh, at, at one point too, I heard that did we not sue or did was there a lawsuit in there between us and New Mass way back when to do with that water? Do you know anything about that? I don't know anything. No. I think I think Tim I was know. telling me about that. Okay. So it was several tides ago. I just wonder. I mean, it's a great lake, and we and, and, and CPA has been putting money into it. But I mean, if UMass really could put the money into it, because if they well, it's looted more it, more than eight hundred dollars. Oh, it's going to be more than eight hundred dollars. <laughs> but we yeah. keep putting money into yeah. it. Is what I'm yeah. saying. So here's Lake Warner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's Route Nine. Here's Fort River. These three areas are covered by the new MS4 permit. MS4 is given out to UMass, to the town of Amherst, to the state highway system, 
And they're all on different schedules. They're on different places on the escalator, the 10 year permit, and you have to do compliance at certain times. So in UMass, uh, the town of Amherst, rather, has, where are we? Right here, they have a wastewater treatment plant, so they're, they're required to, um, they're required by their NIPTES permit to make sure that they're not polluting the water. Uh, any discharge from the town of Amherst into Hadley has to be compliant with MS4 requirements. The University of Massachusetts discharge is the same. They have to be compliant. They have to do testing and stuff like that. So all of this is going to be happening in the next five years. So this is for future, this is the next five years, future testing, making sure it's all compliant. How about the past that, that has been, can we go back? Well, to show that they haven't been, what, I mean, can you see? That's a different project. I mean, that's yeah. more of a forensic, and I wouldn't know how to do oh, that. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted your opinion on it. Yeah. Okay. So, the, so the town of Hadley is complying with its MS4 requirements, mm -hmm. and we have money to comply. Um, if anybody's contributing water to our, our drainage systems and to our rivers and lakes, they have to comply. They may have not have to comply the same time as we do, but they will have to comply. So this is this is an effort by EPA to clean up the Long Island Sound, and, and so they're trying to prevent pollutants from entering into the Connecticut River. And so everybody's working on this, and there are 88 towns on the Connecticut River drainage basin, which are that have to comply to MS4. And that's because, and, 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 and UMass has to do it because of Lake Warner, because they go into that Lake Warner, which Lake Warner goes into the Connecticut River. Is yeah, that it? so the campus pond drains mm -hmm. onto Hadley. Okay. Because mm. I'm thinking UMass is not on the Connecticut River. <laughs> right. Well, they are now. Yeah, yeah all three of us, right? Okay. I'll make a motion to support this funding. I'll second it. Uh, uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Four dash zero. One hundred ninety-five thousand dollars for Hopkins Academy Fields, which is, project, which has been going on for a while. Um, this is the money that they need in order to bring this one in for a landing. This is phase one. It's no. still phase one, yes, for the Hopkins view. Yeah, and when is this going? When is Stanley? I'm just, I saw the school budget. It didn't seem like there was much more in the budget for their field, taking care of their fields. I don't know when this is going to be. When is the final When are they going to start that? Because that's going to be a lot more. For everybody. So I just was curious if this is this coming. Well, this no, one? they're gonna have phase two, so I don't know if it's gonna be. Fin I don't think it's gonna be finished. And they won't have to take care of it next year. Um, it could be a lot bigger than it was, and I noticed a lot with the school budget that custodial hadn't changed, and none of the field maintenance changed. Yeah. That's but it true. would change if it's four times as big as it is today or two times, whatever. Just, I'm not against, I'm just asking. Yeah. Well, there still will be some things that change. I think, too, like things right now, the school, for instance, like soccer, I think um, the way the fields are done, um, they bus like the middle schoolers mm -hmm. to young men's club or to... Right to the elementary school. A lot of them play at the elementary school. So if the, all the kids can play here, then they're not spending the money on busing kids to another place. So busing, may, busing will also increase for the budget. Decrease. Decrease. Because they're not gonna be busing them well, if you're gonna be keeping them at these fields. Because right now, you no, don't have No, but they've been playing at these fields. They're not gonna be able to play at these fields and they're still gonna be part of MIAA. So it takes about a year to. Oh, because you're saying 
because they're of, not going to be able to play on these fields. Oh, I didn't think of that. So, I didn't think of that, Kathy. Well, I, that's a good question. What are they going to do? It takes a year to have it pull in. So one year when they were redoing the varsity field, they moved everything over to um, the Hadley Elementary. And they made that field bigger, and it worked okay for the varsity games. But they still had to bust hmm. the kids. So yeah. those kind of things will increase their budget. So that will be a temporary increase, but then it should go down because we won't be busing them elsewhere. Right. But why is it an I, increase if they're already doing it? it? Would just stay the same, the busing. No, well, right they now they're not doing it. They have their own it. fields at Hopkins. No, so well they're, they're doing it. Some of them. Doing. Yeah, they some are. of them are. But they, I mean, so. Right now, They'd for be soccer, doing more of it, more busing. Right now, they have the two soccer fields, right? So they have the. They um, won't have any fields but, in home. But they got the girls three, three. But that's just a short term. Yeah. It's Eventually, year. it will save you money on this. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, maintenance will always be higher. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I just want to make sure that it wasn't part of this budget coming up. If that was an oversight. Is this the full cost? Of 185. No, that's the bulk that's of just phase one. No, and in phase, they've already given money for over 400 and yeah, like the last 410 was it? Wasn't it? Yeah, 410 sounds yeah. right. But the full cost of this phase. Phase. So this is yes, this is the end of it's, yes, yes, the phase one. That's a good question. So 410 was last year. That was, and then this is 185, and then phase two will come along. I think there's two. I think there's two phases. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Yeah. I know that they're working on it. There was a question with the corner of the property, by where the girls' softball, the uh, junior varsity softball corner is. Mm -hmm. And one of the corners, and it has to do with I think one drainage, and the other part was on the corner of that property who own uh, like questions on the um the ownership Line. on that corner is it like they, they weren't sure there was where's they, the entrance to it well no not necessarily entrances i think a corner of it might have been a neighbor's <laughs> i think it is too they so, were at they, they were at one of the meetings so i think that that's something that they've been discussing that the yep. school's they're working been, on been, do you know about that yeah they're working that through yeah Stay tuned. Okay. Right. Yeah. What's your pleasure mm -hmm. on the money? It's kind of already in motion. It's sort of like you said with the Turka Park. I mean, it's it's already there. You can't stop it now. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd Probably like up to, to the town. If they want to do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah. I'd like to see. Um, you know, I I, I think to, this is our main school. This is where everybody's coming. And let me just tell you when just about a lot of the sporting events because I go to them. Our school is amazing. So, when just for basketball, okay, and and they did so well this year, right? But in basketball, we have a pep band that plays at all the games, mm -hmm. and we have the uh, cheerleaders. Now, when we go to other schools, they don't have that kind of stuff. Right. People are amazed. They come into our school and they're like, "Wow!" So they just want to watch. <laughs> a lot of them want to watch the pep band. Now, when we went to different <laughs> events, so we, here we go. We go over to UMass. We're at the cage, right? And we're playing against. Where I think, and we bring our pep band. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any other music, <laughs> and it was like it was all Hadley. It was our pep We're band. Well rounded in the right? athletics. And it was this has been going on. And it was time. amazing. And it, it was when I was in school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But this this band yeah. is I so good. We started good. it with yeah. the true champions back in the seventies. <laughs> and our girls, our our cheerleaders are are doing awesome. They they got flips going and they put each other up and that, they got like eight yeah. of them and and so that's a good sport too. Compared to the other schools. I mean it brings such um you know And we have great facilities. Sportsmen's are, and, and and people like to come to our you know, oh we're gonna go play Hadley. They wanna come and watch. It's it's exciting because it's got a lot of so, up to it. So what's your... I moved to Mohan. Um, yes, let's do it. Accept them. <laughs> Article 22 as written. Mm -hmm. Second. Aye. 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 All right. Article 23, I put you down as okay. providing a recommendation, but you may decide that this is not a financial issue. Um, sidewalks, ice and snow on the sidewalks. Mm. Um, Right now we have this, this current situation. We have a bylaw that says you shall not allow snow and ice to remain on your sidewalk. 
Mm -hmm. The bylaw is very poorly written and is unenforceable. The town plows sidewalks in uh, Middle Street, uh, Route 9, um, where else? West Street. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this became a concern because um, the State Highway Department is putting in a couple miles of sidewalks on the eastern side of Route 9. Mm -hmm. And right now those sidewalks are the responsibility of the state, but when the project is done, and they're due to finish on May 24th, the responsibility for snow and ice removal reverts to the town. Mm -hmm. Just their policy. It's not fair, but it's it's an unfunded mandate, and I've told them so, but that's the effect. So the select board are now concerned about the cost for snow and ice plowing. They looked around the, at uh, bylaws for other towns and recognized that a lot of towns require the property owner to remove snow and ice from their sidewalk within a 24-hour period. All right. I have to do that up in Greenfield with my house. Mm -hmm. All right. So this article was presented at the Fall Town meeting, if you remember, mm -hmm. and was withdrawn because there were a number of questions about it that they hadn't thought through. So now this is coming back for a repeat. Mm -hmm. And so you may decide that there's a financial impact, or you may decide that there is no financial impact on this. Well, I think there's a finance, some type of a financial impact because it's gonna if it passes. I mean, if for so, if if we end up paying, uh, if if it doesn't pass, right? And so the town will have. You're saying the town will have to plow, so that's gonna have. To, we're gonna have to budget more in the highway department. So, um, but I do hear because it's not just it's not just sidewalks in front of people's houses so you have to go out and when you do your driveway you do the sidewalk this is like uh, some of the businesses and so they're gonna have to hire some extra you know like look at the mall i think or some of the other businesses would, well there's mostly business would, would, would we be able to do it just for the new stuff that the state is adding to us and and keep it the way it was for the center of town well that's not <laughs> I lived over there. Yeah. But, but it's not, it's, it's commercial really, all the mm -hmm. new stuff, right? Well, it's right? a mosaic of no. commercial and residential all down Route 9. Is there you, really much until residential? You, until you get to the former bison farm. Right. That's but they're adding saying. the new stuff at like Home Depot, right? Yeah. Or something. So, no, I mean, no, they're the Hampshire Mall to the Amherst Line. Yeah, so that's, that's much, all. that's almost no residential. That's true. Yeah. Can we get rid of the bylaw and not have the bylaw there regarding the, the plot having to clear it? Yep. <laughs> well, that means there's more um, work for the DPW, and is that director? Well, do we not? No, I'm saying if we don't have to clear it. Oh, so Town of Hadley doesn't clear any. Sidewalks? This is the new stuff. They never had it before. So if they never, if we've never had the sidewalk yeah, but there there's, before. There's a human impact here. Yeah, we want well, people to be trying, safe. You're talking about right. people who need to have clear sidewalks in order to um, get down there, whether mm -hmm. they're walking or if they're in a wheelchair or right. whatever. I mean, there there are reasons why you want to clear sidewalks. You're going to have more of a guarantee of clear sidewalks if the town does it right. than if you leave it up to the residents. Because Which you're going to have people that just don't do it because it it's so very, expensive yeah. to have anything done it gets very on an individual level. Somebody's clear is somebody else's. Right, mm, which which, which is clean. just going to add, and like like we said, most of it is business, so it's just going to add more of a cost to that business. Well, I think the businesses are big enough. They have people coming in with plows anyway, but if you're talking about little homeowners in the center of town, sure. that's a different story. I agree. Yeah, but who's going to do the one like between Midas and the mall when there's that little swampy area? Mm -hmm. Not the swampy it, area. It a, whoever, whoever owns, owns the that swamp. land. Yeah. That's us, right? Uh, we don't own the property oh, well, there. Who owns that property? The mall? Well, I guess Pyramid. I'd, oh, right. I'd, I'd have to take a look at And then they stop it. right where Midas is. <laughs> and then stop right where Applebee's. Are. I mean, it's like. No, they probably form a group. I mean, how do they do all their huge parking lot plowing? Well, that's their property. So, like, the mall does it. And then we go to the next 
section, which is Midas, they do theirs. Then there's Howard Johnson's, they do theirs. Then there's Staples, they do theirs. Mm -hmm. But there are in-betweens. I'm just saying. Yeah. There are some gaps. Who does the gaps? There's gaps with, I mean, it's not like New York City where there's something, <laughs> right? So there's gaps. We have slight fields, we have swamps. Um, they do it in I don't other think it's towns. that easy. They yeah? do it in other towns. So. They're so much nicer in the other towns. <laughs> See, I don't like, I don't, I almost wish that it's not in front of houses. I, I, I definitely would want to see people get out of their houses, and if there was sidewalks there, they used it, you know, you know they're used to it. But it's just I mean, one of those things. I, I hear both sides of it. I, I definitely don't want to see the town do it, but that is a big expense to those businesses that did not ask for it, you know? I don't know. I mean, those feelings. businesses are the ones that are uh, gaining by it. They're pedestrians are all there for the reason of visiting those businesses mm -hmm. in the center of town is it's like a different animal it's a different animal yes. right so yeah. I don't want mm -hmm. definitely didn't want to see it go onto the people for the, the yeah. what have been happening you want to continue right. I mean, all of a sudden you don't want to burden the people right. that because of something happening over there right that doesn't right. seem right yeah sounds like we don't have a unity of mind on this one mm. We don't have a yes or no answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and two, even if you put it in place, are you really going to... So say you tell the people that they have to plow it. What, do they, what if they don't? Are you going to find them? Who are, the, who is, is who are the sideway police? The police? Yeah, the sideway police. Sidewa sidewalk police. <laughs> Side sideway sidewalk police. Who are they? Because <laughs> I'd love to walk around and just say, here, you didn't, I mean, who's going to do that? It's a way to make friends. It's a way to make revenue. <laughs> right now we have, we have the well, you have to spend something. Okay, and what does the DPW say about this? Do they want to bring, do they want to yeah. take on that? The, they, sidewalk? They don't want to be in the sidewalk plowing business because it's expensive yeah. and difficult. So they don't want to even do the residential area here, well, West and West right Street. Right now they are. Yeah. But I'm asking, what are they saying? They, they would rather not do it because of the expense. Right. Well, that makes sense. So, I mean, West Street has more of a continual that I'm used to in other towns. West Street has continual people living on it. Middle Street has continual people living on it. That area over there seems very industrial to me and... I mean, really, the police have enough to do on Route 9 than look at a sidewalk. I don't know. I yeah, think with sidewalks, it, and the only times they get dangerous. looked at is if someone complains. That's how that works. And, yeah, and if, once it's plowed, and if there's ice on it and someone falls, then you're going to... you're screwed. <laughs> if you want Which is problem. why, as a company, they'd probably just not do it. But yeah. it's a lot more dangerous to fall off that sidewalk on Route 9 than it is to fall off the sidewalk on West Street. I hate to say it. So somebody's going to hear about it. I, they're worried about falling on the sidewalk. Well, you know what I mean. So. Actually, the sidewalk's pretty high. <laughs> no, and I'm if they fall the into curb. traffic... You're talking about the curb. Well, the sidewalk's right near the curb on, on 9. It's like literally yeah, right but, there. Uh, so if with, they fall with off... falling of, on ice, it's just falling on the ground. That's how you yeah. break your hip. And well, they're lucky they don't fall into traffic. Let's say that. Traffic's like secondary. <laughs> so, I mean, this, this, this is a crisis um, sprung by the Department of Transportation because yes. it's right. their sidewalk, they built it, right. and they've, they've decided that they're not going to maintain it. And they've told us that we have to maintain it, and I've told them that's an unfunded mandate. Uh, I'm meeting with our legislative delegation tomorrow morning, and I'm going to raise this issue again, which I've done several times. So yeah, Having sidewalks a good thing. For your town, isn't well, it? Who benefits? I mean, I mean, they the state put in to benefit who? The businesses? The so everybody benefits. Everybody. Yeah, I think it was pretty dangerous to walk on Route Nine without a um, yeah. a sidewalk, and there are people that don't have cars. And I saw many a people in my year here walking on that street. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for myself yeah. as a driver that there are people who are able to be safe on the side of the road, especially Route mm -hmm. 9 in our town. Not everything's as angelic so as West our, Street. That's our interest then. Keeping people safe on the road that goes the through our, the business. our town. 
So it's eight nineteen at this point. I say we defer to conversation. I mean. All right. So I don't have any other articles that uh, I have labeled as uh, financial articles that you may feel differently, but excellent work. There are only a couple of uh, open items left: sidewalks, liquor licenses, and uh, and uh, Lake Warner. Yay. Mm -hmm. So, before you came, I was giving like a summary of where we're going. We have mm -hmm. April 3rd, the select yep. board are going to be in you. Mm -hmm. are going to be hearing from Human Services, Council on Aging, Veterans, mm -hmm. uh, Board of Health, uh, Hadley Media. We're going to be hearing Culture and Recreation. That would be Park and Rec, Library, Historic Commission. Yeah. Uh, review of the articles, and then on April 10th, they're going to finish up with debt, state assessments, and um, yeah. benefits, yeah. and then anything else. And I'm hoping that on the 10th, that the select board are signing this. We want it signed on the 10th. Yeah. Not Wait, on the 10th? Of April. Okay, so then the third is, is is one meeting, and the tenth is the finishing up of the benefits and everything. But you want it signed the same time. But what it, when are, will there be more discussions on, or how is it working? Because there has been some people that say, oh, we wanted this back, we wanted that back. When when are? Well, that's what April seventeenth would be for. It would be if we can't cut it. Then there are a lot of people coming in and asking for additional money. So we, right. we got a request just yesterday for $60,000. Did we That's for the uh, cemetery. Did, did we officially talk yeah, about this right. issue? Do we know? We no, we haven't. Do we need to? We're going to talk about it on Wednesday. Okay. I just wanted you to have the information. <laughs> The, the budget discussion continues after the board is signed. Oh, after the board is signed. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm like, well, how are you going to change changes? Yeah. Okay, thank you. That that cleared that up. <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I'm trying All to right. be a, I'm trying to be a little pushy on this because That's mm -hmm. the May second feels like a long way off, but it really isn't. I have to post the board on April 24th. That's my drop in deadline. April 24th, you have to post the budget. To post post uh, whatever warrant. is here. Okay. Yeah. Whatever yeah. we have. April 23rd. So we want to make sure everything adds up. Yeah. I'm going so down the other on the 22nd. Is that the so House Ways and Means Committee is. I think I'm back on the 28th. I think I'm on the 22nd and 28th. Or 6th of April. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they said the thing changed. So I uh, just wanted okay. to let you know that I'm oh, pushing to finish this up at a time of uncertainty and, and yes, you're right. I changing you're right. the information, but sorry. Right. That's the way the budget yeah. season yeah. always goes. Right here. Okay. Do you want to call any other meeting other than the two that are already mm. um, scheduled for you? you might How are those um, three Wednesdays for you guys? Or two? Let's the two Wednesdays, two. Wednesdays right? Yeah, we'll two. think positively. Which dates? It's the Third and ten. Third and ten of, of April. April. Mm -hmm. Oh, of April. I think we're both here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seventeen will be done. Ten it'll be done. You said. Third and ten. Yeah, and yes. signed. That, will, that may be optimistic. Yeah. Well, I think. But I am. I think we. Um, On my part. The third <laughs> and the tenth, but then we, if we need any discussion, like I said, because I all the, the people that have come and asked for changes, at yeah. what point? At what point? Will you be? Ch are you just going to take it upon yourself to make these changes? I mean, no, 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 no. This is something that we have to do to because I have not. I have. I these. I've had people. I've heard people come and ask for changes. Yep. Yeah. From um, the budget. Yep. Yeah. And at what point does that decision be made? When When is the discussion for that going to happen? Well, that's what I'm. What I'm asking for. The, well, the, I figured the, it's not just us. They're They're talking. They're telling the. Unless we're supposed to have the discussion first, and then the select board wants to discuss it with us, but I, or are we doing a joint I'm, meeting I'm, on that? I'm thinking it's the tenth. We're gonna we gotta get into this as much as we possibly can. Okay. Somewhere between the tenth and the seventeenth, if there has to be extra discussion, yeah. Yeah. we could meet. That's right. And then you meet with okay. the tenth. I mean the seventeenth, and so be it. That's, That's right. fine. That's fine. So okay. keep your um. Yeah. So keep your eyes peeled and yeah. for yeah. between the. 10 
and the 17 we might meet again posting, so i just want to make sure that i'm doing yeah the right yeah thing yeah so well as far as i know we're we're not we're, 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 not, a, we're not dropping a stitch or anything like no that. i really wanted to do this because i want to get, get through this yeah, i figured yeah. you did good work tonight are you here yeah i figured we'd bang it out much May. quicker than doing it jointly that's what we have to swap it there and set up the budget sheet the way we the one that gets presented at town meeting you set that up with a prior year and blanks for you to fill in I am for, for the current year. year. I'll be Blanks for no, the, the way the budget set yeah, up is the prior year. at the, each department and the oh, prior year and the current year. Yeah. So and overlook. And then at the for oh, town yeah. meeting you have it all well, listed and then we just you read it off. Yep. Right. Do you want me to set it up? You want to switch with blanks before you make the discussion? <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying. Do you want me to set it up with the? I guess I put it in for the recommended. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll send you some funny. Okay. I'll send you some. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm, I vote and, to and, and I uh, close one. this meeting, adjourn the meeting. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Is there, just double checking, is there any other way to keep it as con condensed as possible for town meeting? Because we are, there's pages to read off. Yeah. I just want to make it as easy, you know, as quick as possible because we're reading every single number. Anything that we can combine. <laughs> No, it is. Yeah, it is. We'll, we'll work on Double that. We'll look at it. It's pretty well combined. Okay. Yeah. It's just salary and expenses on each budget. All right. Well, yeah. well the, 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 just look are, at it are, because there it's... are there are towns. This happened one year in our town actually, where the, the, the moderator just read the bottom number for the entire budget, <laughs> and I thought. Okay, that gives that could give me like uh, carte blanche to spend anything anywhere that That's I want. That's a lot of discretion. I'm not that kind of a guy, <laughs> yeah. so I don't recommend that we condense it beyond a certain amount. But I, I hear what you're saying. It's a lot of presentation. Um, There's and I, I, it goes out to everybody. Everybody has the breakdown somehow. But there's a I, I just was looking at a way to dispense with the reading the way they do in those three page zoning articles they say everyone's got it we won't read it yeah or, or it. maybe we just do the sum we just do the just the one line item like uh public safety boom this is the, the bottom line yeah and just read just the okay i just so, so there may be a difference between what's voted and what's send out a do your homework yeah. hmm? notice robocall do your homework if you're coming to town meeting sorry Okay. Has to get do your homework. homework. Get it posted. Okay. All right. Sorry, I just wanted to mention that because I know yeah. all of us just love getting faster. up there, going through every single number that's out there and reading right. every number. If and everyone I, and I their homework, that's and I don't think do. the town people want to actually sit there and listen to us read when they can see it. And you know what I those last a long I, time. What I recommend <laughs> is that um, that we plan to go through all the numbers the way we normally do. Yeah. But we. We have to talk to the people in advance and say, listen, this is a little bit new and different. We're doing the general fund first, and then we're doing the, the, uh, the enterprise fund. Okay. By the way, folks, would you like us to dispense with all this reading and we can just reference a handout in the motion? Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? Mm -hmm. and get, the, get the feedback from town meeting and whatever they say. Oh no, we really like this this exercise. Or it's our second night out in the year. Yeah, You're so. the stars. <laughs> so just, 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 ask, just ask them. We can Two do it at the public forum as well. And just be transparent about what we're doing. We're trying, yeah. to, trying to accomplish the same amount of work in less time, respecting your time. For, and thank you for coming out. We so we can all put our lovely yeah. kids to bed on time. Yeah. You know, those meetings were lasting pretty long. In the last meeting, we had to do two meetings <laughs> because it lasted so long. Anything to cut it down. Speaking okay. of, thank you. I make a motion Everyone. to adjourn this meeting. All right. Okay. Second. All in favor, aye. 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 Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for two hours. Thank you, Linda. Really good work. I appreciate it.